Hello, this is Bear Goes Rar once again, but today we are doing something a little different. I'm going to teach you how to play Minecraft in my tutorial, Survival. And in today's episode, I will be teaching you how to survive your first night. <laughs> once my train builds. Now, what you want to do first is look at your keyboard and W is to move forward A is to move left D to the right and S to the back you also need to jump so you just simply tap the spacebar now to move around and look everywhere just simply move your mouse from the left and then you got it going. Now, now that you've learned that, you will also need to learn sprint, which is simply t double tapping the W button. You can also jump while you sprint. You also, if you go to your options and your controls, you will see that there's a sprint button. You can have this button, but I usually use the double tap sprint. Left control is what I put as that sprint button. Now if I hold it, I will sprint. Now, let's make sure it's on easy, and let's get started. Now, in order to break wood, blocks to start building. You want to hold the left mouse button and you will collect wood. Now you can take this whole tree down and collect all the wood that you need. Okay, you have collected necessar the necessary wood. Now, to open up your inventory, which is crucial to Minecraft, just tap E. And you open up your inventory. You can see your little player here, which is your Minecraft skin. And you have your crafting station. This is very basic. And there's another way to craft, I will show you. Now, you're gonna left click to pick up your item and left click again to put it in your crafting and then you will get from acacia wood to acacia wood planks now if you hold shift and then left click you will make all of them into it if you just want to make a single just left click and put it in you don't have to make all of them now another crucial thing to Minecraft is a crafting bench. In order to make a crafting bench, you want to put wood in a formation like this. And then you'll get your crafting table. Or I like to call it crafting bench. Now, set it down simply by um, using the right mouse button. And there you go. You got your crafting bench on the ground. Right click the crafting bench and this little thing pops up. It is for crafting. Now, you want to make sticks and so you put the wood like this. It makes sticks which is crucial for everything. Now, I want to make tools. Let's make a couple tools. We will make a wooden pickaxe which is acacia wood on the top then do six vertical like that you just do the shifting if you want to or you can just drag it onto there now there's also a crucial thing you want to make an axe this is for chopping down wood faster because you will need a lot of wood <laughs> okay now i'm going to collect my crafting bench 
simply by left clicking, you know. And then I'm going to collect more wood. And it will be faster now that I have my axe. And as you th see, there's uh, achievements, which are very just for what? Yeah, I don't know. They're basically just so you have a goal or whatever. Okay. Now that I got all the wood, except for that one, which is a little pesky one, but that's fine. Once you've collected all the wood from the tree, the leaves will start to decay. And they will drop saplings and possibly apples. See, there's acacia sapling. Now, if I just right click, I will plant the sapling. And after some time, it will grow into acacia tree. Now, now that we got the basics down, I want to start mining. First, if you wanted to, you could start finding the cave. But since there are no caves around for me to find, uh, well, actually there is. So, I'm gonna go over there. Now, to start mining, you will need a pickaxe. A pickaxe will mine stone. And all you have to do is left click. Or hold left click. Now, what you'll need is about 11 cobblestone, which comes out from stone. Okay, and two more pieces. I'm going to plant my crafting table down. And we are going to make a furnace. Now, a furnace is formed by this. This is crucial for smelting which you will need to smelt in order to get what you need. Okay, now that we have our furnace down, it is getting a little late. And we are running low on food. Actually, we have no food. I will show you the food probably once we get out of this cave. But first, I want to make a stone pickaxe. Now make your sticks, because you will need a lot of sticks and make your tool, which is basically the same pattern as you made the wooden pickaxe. And now that you got stone pickaxe, you can mine faster. Now coal, which is also very crucial, you can mine with a wooden pickaxe, which I recommend so you can get rid of it. Because you won't need it very long. Okay, great. Now we can start putting some light in here so mobs don't spawn. Since we have some leftover sticks, I'm going to make some torches. Which is simply coal on the top, sticks on the bottom. Yeah. Now you've got your torches. Now you can right click them out on the mouse. And you can simply place torches. You can place them on the walls. You can place them on the ground, place them anywhere. It's very simple. And now, it's time that we mine some more coal. And we, uh, actually, um, I'm going to make a sword. A sword, you will need sticks. You'll need sticks for all the tools and weapons. A sword is simply crafted by this. Two acacia wood on top of a stick. Or not acacia. It doesn't have to be acacia. It could be any wood. Uh, I forgot to mention that. But we are going to kill some cows. I simply left clicking to, uh, you know, swing your sword. Ah, oh, oh. Where are you? There you are, you sneaky little cow. And it will draw raw beef, which is, um, cows are... Basically, they give you the most food um, points. He will also occasionally drop leather, as you see here. Some do not like it did with the other one, but some will. Okay, you got your food, or at least some food, because you will need more um, during your time in Minecraft. 
you're gonna need to cook the food. Now, this is where the furnace comes in. Right click the furnace to open up the furnace menu. Now put in your coal on the bottom so it can heat up your food. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so it can heat up your food. Now, as you see, there's a little um, arrow thingy filling up here. Once it gets to here, the thing cooks, so it makes some steak. Now, steak heals up four food points, which is really good, and it seems to be getting dark. Now, I'm gonna go, um, and start farming, because I will need more food. However, it is getting dark, and this is a first night video, so I'm gonna put up a cobblestone wall to protect me. It is simple, it is easy, you can also make a dirt wall, whatever you wanna do. It just depends on what you feel like doing. Okay, you got your cobblestone. Now, you're gonna place your cobblestone as so to protect you from monsters outside. Unless you want to fight, which is not a very good idea on your first night, because you won't be that um, expertise type. Okay, so that's a basic cobble wall. Now I want to make a door. Doors are crafted by making two vertical pillars of wood planks. Any wood would do. It makes a wooden door. It's pretty simple. Oh, and sometimes it will play strong. Don't worry, you could fix that easily by going out here and right clicking to place it. And there you go. You can right click to open and close the door. Now, my steak is all done. I have my coal. I'm gonna eat my steak. And let's go get mine. Mining. Now, it's never a good idea to mine straight down. Because there could potentially be lava down there. And you could burn up and die. Which is not a very good thing to do. Uh, just mine like this, making a staircase down if you want to. Uh, you can make a spiral staircase, whatever you want. You can even strip mine, which I'll teach you that once I get more into the van stuff. Now, since I got my little staircase mine down there, um... I will be teaching you how to collect iron and stuff. This is just for today, um, for the night. It's uh, just a beginning tutorial. Um, and if you want to, you can have like a window right here and look through. But eventually, we'll get glass so that they won't see us. And I'm gonna collect some more coal here. And I think I'm gonna wait until uh, daytime for continuing this video or I could show you how to attack which is what I'm gonna do actually because that seems funner doesn't it okay okay I'm just gonna bust through here and I'm gonna show you how to attack mobs which that right there is a creeper a creeper is the most well-known mob in this game it explodes, if you didn't know that. Um, it will potentially destroy everything around it when it explodes. Um, I don't feel like killing them because I ain't, I'm not armored or at all. And it's kind of scary. <laughs> um, I wish I could show you zombie right now, but there are none to be seen. So, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm gonna mine a little more, and I'll get back to you once 
I find something great. Okay? I'll be right back. Hello everybody. And welcome back. I am back. Um I did not happen to find anything, sadly. All I did was find some coal and a lot of cobblestone. And sorry if you hear heard my Skype go off. Um what I did, uh waiting. I went outside and there was nothing here, no mobs or nothing, so what I did was place torches, because I forgot to tell you. If you do place torches, it reduces the chance of mobs spawning. So you might want to put it all around your house, it would be a great idea to do that. And so I think we should go and learn how to farm, and I'm sorry if my mouse went off a little. Uh, so I'm gonna go get a. I'm gonna go make a hoe, which is used to farm. And we're gonna need sticks, like always. Uh, every tool needs sticks. And you basically put two planks like so, and two sticks like so. Um, as you can see, I did a lot of mining. I have a stack of cobble, which um, basically every block goes to 64 except for snowballs and some items do not stack like tools so yeah keep that in mind okay we are gonna go near a body of water so it can hydrate the soil for the so the plants can grow and as you can see this is a lighter one that means it's not hydrated yet um, if it is darker like a darker brown it means it is hydrated and you want that. And sorry my mouse went off again. So, yeah. And then you simply right click um, to like plow the land, um, like so. And you right click to put on the um, seeds. You can also put potatoes and carrots. Um, and melons and pumpkins but I'll get into that later once I find them um so yeah let me let me get some more stuff okay I think I'm good so now that we got our farming done I think I want to go out and find uh, mobs hostile but first, let me make a stone sword, which is basically like making a wooden sword, except replacing the wood with cobblestone. And now, I have an upgrade. Which is good, because that's what you need. So, I'm just going to head in one direction, so I do not lose my spot. I'm going to go find something great for y you guys. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna teach you about dyes. But it's a little early, but, uh, hey. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna do that yet. Okay. This is a cactus. If you go near it, it will hurt you. It really will. So don't, don't pick yourself on it. Um, left click to collect the cat or hold left click to collect the cactus and it will make stuff like green dye which you can dye wool with which I'll get into that later once I find some sheep okay now um, I'm gonna go make a shovel I'll show you how to go make that um, also uh, I'm gonna teach you that later okay Let's go make a shovel. And as you can see, I know which direction I went, so I know which direction my house is. If you know what I said. <laughs> it's kind of confusing. Okay, we're going to make more sticks, because I don't have enough. And let's make some sticks. And we're going to make a shovel, which is basically two sticks, like that. And then a uh, cobblestone on top. And that's how you make a stone shovel. You can also make a wooden one. But I figured I would just make a stone one since I have enough stone. 
Um, yeah, sorry about my mouse. It's a little crazy. It gets a little hyped up and spins all around. Okay. Now, um, you can collect sand with your hands, but it is much easier with a shovel. Um, so we're just going to collect a bunch right now. Okay. That seems to be enough. Alrighty. Now I am hungry, so I'm going to right hold right click and I'm going to eat. And as you see my hunger bar uh, down here, but my mouse is not showing, I don't think. But yeah, you see those, uh, they look like chicken legs. Yeah, th that's your food bar. So you have to eat in order to survive. If you do starve, you will um, lose some hit points. Okay, now I want to find some sheep. Hopefully there are sheep around here. This is a desert, by the way, and so you guys know how to find out what kind of biomes they are. Press your F3 key, and sometimes you will need to do uh, FN plus the F3 key together. Uh, that's what my laptop had to do, but this is my uh, computer. Um, you will see some numbers on the left hand side and then you'll see the words desert uh, that's how you find out where the biome is you also have uh, your direction which I'm facing north and your coordinates which is basically you can um, find your way back to home using your coordinates if you don't want to just go one way which I'm taking it safe and going one way I think it's a better uh, strategy or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now we are in sand. So much sand in the desert. Um, I cannot find anything useful here. And as you saw, I just got hit by that cactus. So I'm going to go back. Um... But first, let me show you this. This is sandstone. Um, you could collect it with a pickaxe. Uh, you will need a pickaxe. A wooden one will do. It's very easy to collect. Um, it doesn't take no time at all. You can make uh, like different structures with this sandstone. It's a building block. Um, yeah pretty great. So I'm gonna go back because I zilched here. Um, I was trying to find a desert temple but I think that's too early anyways. Um, I think that's all for this episode. This is how to survive your first night. I kinda went overboard. It's almost the second night. <laughs> But anyways guys, if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I am your sheepdog. Good night.